In this video, I'm going to show you how to prep a bag of peat moss um, to use in a flat or tray. So we like to add peat moss because it increases our water holding capacity of whatever our soil mix is. But there's a, when you purchase your peat moss, it's going to come usually as like a giant brick. This is a pretty small bag that you can get. This is 13.2 liters um, or 12 quarts. And it's going to be pretty dry when you get it. So um, if you get it in like the big giant bricks, uh, you'll want to kind of peel it apart with your hands. And it's really, really dusty, so you want to make sure that you're using some sort of uh, facial protection so that you're not just breathing all of this in. Usually just like a, like a N95 dust mask you would use for if you're mixing other things is good. Now, we like this because it's um, got a great water holding capacity, but when you first purchase it, it's dehydrated. And that's nice because it makes the brick a lot lighter um, whenever you're picking it up. But when it's fully dehydrated, it's actually very nonpolar. And so I'm going to show you what I mean here. Um, so you want to you wanna soak this before you're going to use it. Uh, this bucket here that I have has been soaking for about four hours now, and it's pretty much ready to use now. But let me just show you how much water this is going to take to um, even start doing anything on here. This is a regular five-gallon bucket, and what I'm probably going to do is just fill this bucket the rest of the way with water um, until everything starts to float in here. And you really want to let this soak in. Um, overnight is great if you can do that. Uh, realistically, about four hours is probably what you need um, to get it to, to really start holding water well. And then you can add this to other soil mixes if you want to increase the water holding capacity. You can use this for air layering, which we'll see later on in the quarter. See, and then even as I... Even as I go underneath here, it's bone dry already, you know. So, so this really needs some time to soak. See, it's super, super dusty and dry. Um, before you're going to be ready to use this. But this works great for um, like bulb propagation and stuff like that. It's slightly acidic. Um, so your pH is going to be a little bit low on something like this. There we go. And just as soon as I turn it over, you know, I can tell that there's moisture underneath there and that this peat moss is actually floating on it. Um, and you can mix it with your hands and stuff, but it really is just going to take time to soak. Um, so you'll let it sit there for a little while. And then if you have a batch that's mixed up and, and is already fairly moist, I mean, you can even squeeze any extra water out of this. It gets very, very spongy and very nice. But we like this for the bulb scoring that we're going to do today because uh, we can wet this really thoroughly once and then just check on it maybe once a week without having to do too much else. And um, that'll be perfect for what we need it for.